Rosie, is that a snow globe helmet? It sort of is. And actually, I was digging out my decorations at the weekend and I came across it. I'd forgotten all about it. I was actually at a, it was actually from a New Year's Eve party a couple of years ago. I thought that's oh, too good to just leave it in a, in a box. Absolutely. That's, as I always say, dignity, always dignity. Absolutely. And class, you know, one of the things that actually really um, marked our Christmases was uh, my grandparents coming to stay. So my mum was from Korean and uh, uh, her mum and dad used to come every Christmas and of course no cars in those days well not for them they never had a car um, so they used to come on the train and it was great excitement to go down to the train station and just like we used to I don't know I suppose we'd never been on a train at that point I remember when they used to leave actually we used to get on the train with them and kind of until their train departed you know when we sort of used to linger until the last minute and just that whole thing of meeting them at the train and just the huge excitement of that was just fabulous and actually having them stay for a few days I have absolutely no idea where we all fitted into the house because we had no spare rooms uh, so we must have all squeezed in somewhere but um but yeah that was very much a, a a big part of Christmas in those days actually early in Christmas morning my younger brother Colin and I used to get up really early uh, while everybody else was still in bed and we used to like I mean the house would have been decorated for Christmas already but we used to get up and just like fling tinsel everywhere we just went mad and like and then when mom and dad got up you know they would kind of feign surprise you know oh my goodness where did all this come from this is amazing you know and it just I think we did it one year and then it just got to be one of those traditions you know and uh Mom and dad still had to get up and feign surprise, you know, for the fifth year. <laughs> Even when you're 16 years old, yes, well done. <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness, the elves have been, how did all this tinsel appear? <laughs> First thing in the morning when you would just go into the living room and like it would still be dark and you would just look around and you would see all the outlines of the presents before anything had been sort of touched or opened. It was just... It's just that magical, you know, almost the anticipation, actually, that, that Alan was talking about the other night. I had two brothers, so actually, I think I actually spent more time on the, the Meccano and the Scalectrics and the Lego than I probably did on my Cindy and my Tiny Tears. So I, I did have a Cindy. I'm party like Cindy, love my stunning dress. And uh, my younger brother had an action man. Action man and we used to love like sending them on adventures together. Real fire and grappling hook for awesome at sale action. I love to sparkle on a party night. I can remember um, Action Man had this diving outfit, which I'm sure like was, was really something, you know, it was the full kit. And I can remember us, you know, having him in the bath and poor old Cindy didn't have the gear, you know. But she had to, she had to the join him. Of her life, yeah. And then eventually, you know, I think Cindy's leg fell off or something and that was... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she wasn't such a good catch at that stage, but I couldn't really choose one favourite present. And I have to say, I'd be hard pressed not to choose a good old selection box as my best ever. If somebody still gave me a selection box, I would be delighted. Do you remember they used to have like, uh, they had Cabri's ones and they had Mars bar ones and had Round Trees ones? Was there, oh, was there one that was preeminent? I think Cabri's probably won the day, you know, but you know what? It was just the fact that actually there was such a variety in them, you know, and you could just choose, you could deliberate over which chocolate bar you were going to eat or maybe even more than one at once, you know. A couple of things that I remembered, which are, are definitely going to date me. And actually this came to mind when Catherine was talking about the, what was it, the fashion wheel or something that she yes, was talking fashion about? Wheel. It reminded me very much of Sparrowgraph, which was actually one of my favourite things I remember. Um, and I, I would never consider myself particularly creative, but I think that's what was so good about Sparrowgraph, because it actually allowed you to do things, create all these gorgeous yeah. patterns and things without actually being creative yourself. And then the other one, sort of along that theme, but slightly, slightly different, was Etch-a-Sketch, which I absolutely remember just loving it just sketch it just was so magical you know drawing the whatever you did and then it just you could start all over again it just appeared. spiritual lesson there even at that early age and etch sketch <laughs> i was going to try to not turn that into a sermon but you did it for me <laughs> absolutely adrian will like that one <laughs>